Growing up in Hawaii, my family went to the beach every weekend. Over the years, I've just become accustomed to going surfing and swimming and diving and kayaking, anything that had to do with the water. I help out with the therapeutic recreation unit, basically advising the city on specific needs for people with disabilities. The first time that I met Emma, I believe it was love at first sight. <laughs> she is definitely a water dog. The kayak is perfect for us because we can go out, we can cruise around, we can enjoy our day and, you know, just get out there and, and have fun. Emma helps me with my wheelchair. She's able to tug the wheelchair from the shoreline up to the beach mat so that I don't have to pull it back up there myself. You'll see her bounce around on the beach after she's pulled my beach chair all the way up the beach. She knows that that's something I truly needed. Another thing that Emma does for me is she's able to tow me in from outside in the water. It's just a good skill for her to have and it's just something that I might need one day that I want her to be able to do. She does a lot of things for me in the water and she helps out at home quite a bit. One of her big things around the house is to turn on lights for me. She'll open the refrigerator and get a drink out of the refrigerator for you if you need it. She brings a lot of independence to my life because if there's something that you can't do, you can always ask her to do that. I don't think there's anything that I couldn't ask her to do that she wouldn't try. She's the best dog I've ever owned and for sure my best friend. I am Brian Kajima. I am a doctoral student as well as a lecturer for the Department of Special Education. I have had Zeus for about three years now. Zeus knows over 90 different hand signals, which means I had to learn 90 different hand signals and Zeus had a much easier time learning the signals than me which goes to show who really should be teaching classes here at the university. One thing that Zeus provides me is a feeling of independence, knowing that he'll always be there for me if I need any assistance. He is an example of the wide range of supports that a person with a disability needs in order to be as empowered as possible. His main responsibility is to be there in case I drop anything like paper or keys and he'll pick them up for me. I feel more confident in being out knowing that should I drop my wallet or anything I wouldn't be stuck waiting for someone to be nice enough to stop to help me since Zeus would be right there ready to get my wallet for me and he also wouldn't take any money. I just feel like people need to be aware of how empowering a service dog can be in the life of a person with a disability and how a service dog can really open new doors. So it is very important for people to support assistance dogs of Hawaii so that more people with disabilities can live life to their fullest potential. Good morning. Good morning. He's a good dog. My name is Wendy Hirsch, and I'm a clinical psychologist here at Kapilani Medical Center for Women and Children. He has the perfect temperament to work with children. He's very sensitive to people, but not to the environment. Tucker is our full-time hospital facility dog, meaning he's here Monday through Friday, all day. He comes to hospital staff meetings with me. He walks on rounds with the medical team, and he wears a hospital badge. And people feel like this is an amazing thing that the hospital has done for them. It's not just for the patients, it's the staff that feel really comfortable and, and supported. One of Tucker's 90 commands is snuggle. And so if, they, if they'd like, Tucker will jump up on the bed and lay down and snuggle with them. Tucker's there waiting for them when they come out of surgery. Um, he provides a great deal of distraction at a, at a really rough moment. He knows when to act silly and then he knows when to be calm and just wait patiently. When patients are coming on medevac from all the other islands, we have a Tucker doll waiting for them on the airplane. And so they get to hold their own Tucker doll and then meet Tucker when they get off the airplane. It really starts a nice experience here at the hospital. Tucker changes people's lives every day. And so to have Tucker here as the heart and soul of the hospital and really a visual image of how much we're willing to do to make sure people have a good experience here and feel okay, it's made the biggest difference ever.